my 2018 smartphone spec sheet wish list. So if you want to know what's in my basket, stay tuned and let's get into this video. And uh, how's it going guys, this is i7 Tech here and today I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm looking forward to in 2018 smartphones. Now there are a lot of specifications that are out there and they've really changed the game. You know companies like OnePlus have really pushed the boundaries in terms of what a smartphone in 2017 should have in terms of specifications. Now there are a lot of smartphones that are really holding back in terms of giving us you know good specifications on the smartphones like Apple you know and you know it's a, it's a shame that they're doing that because you know there are a lot of other companies that are really pushing the boundaries and they are really putting out their best specifications and the high end specifications you can find in a smartphone my thoughts of premium flagship specs in a smartphone in 2018 goes something like this Now, I don't want to talk about processors because processors are always changing and they're really, you know, killing the game. They're, you know, the Snapdragons, the A11 Bionic chip, they're really changing the game and the ASNOS, you know, they're really powerful. So I don't really want to get into those, but I want to get into like RAM, like RAM, I think in 2018, we need to see flagship smartphone have that 8 gigs of RAM as a standard for all smartphones not just some have it and some don't for all premium smartphones should have at least eight gigs of ram as a standard you know we're moving into that world where multitasking and all of those things are prevalent and having eight gigs of ram you know and expandable to 16 gigs of ram in a smartphone could really change the game in 2018 and because 2018 now is started to be the year of innovation you know with uh, foldable smartphones i've got a really amazing concept that i want to talk to you guys about in a separate video i'll leave it in the cards right there so if you want to check that out i'll leave it in the cards so you can see what is actually going to happen what's going to be happening and it's very interesting and i think that you guys are going to love what i'm going to be talking about in that video that's coming up later on this week if not the next day after this video has been uploaded it's going to come two days after because i want to do my research on this because it's really 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 exciting and i'm really excited to really do this videos for you guys anyway going back to the specifications now cameras are really doing good it's more now having you know 4k video recording on all smartphones is going to be the standard for 2018 you know 60 fps on all you know on all platforms is going to be amazing for a 2018 smartphone now 60 fps 4k recording is kind of new apple has really adopted that in their smartphone so what i've seen from you know the footage of apple products having that 60 fps it's really good and i feel like you know smartphones can learn a lot from that and i feel like you know in 2018 4k 60 fps is going to be the main highlight of a smartphone in 2018 so but you know a lot of other companies might not go that route because you know like like the pixel the pixel is a really good smartphone it's a really good camera it's just that you know it needs to really innovate rather than just stay the way that it is so that you know we can really you know, enjoy it it's a good camera it's just that you know other things you know play a part in terms of the the os in terms of the build quality in terms of the displays and all of that so but that will be in a separate video anyway anyway going back to the design and displays you know i think right now we're in a good spot in terms of glass designs because it houses wireless charging now glass back smartphones is something that is really not going to change and it's ever going to be more prevalent in 2018. you know apple has been doing glass back uh, smartphones before and then they changed in when they got into the iphone 5 and the 5s and the 6 i don't know why if they could have introduced wireless charging then it would have been amazing it would have changed the game in terms of you know at the time no one was even thinking about wireless charging you know so yeah and speaking about wireless charging you know there's a lot that we can talk about wireless charging because 
a lot of concepts have been coming out that you know people want you know a zonal a zonal charge so if you get into a room you can charge your phone without even having to put it down so we'll have to see whether that really comes out and we'll have to see if it's gonna work or it doesn't work or companies are just gonna you know move on to another you know concept which i'm gonna be doing so stay tuned for that i'll put it in the cards yeah there's a concept that i've been thinking about and stay tuned for that one anyway this is i don't want to make this video too long because i'll make a part two of this so if you want to know about my part two stay tuned for this this has been i7 tech thank you guys for watching make sure to like subscribe and press that bell so you can stay notified of my videos this is s7 tech and i'll see you guys Close till I get up Time is barely on our side